Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where I review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my scruffy chicken, right? And he's gone. You can't control the salt! Oh, welcome back. You alright? Are you gonna smack me today and do a hit and run at some point? <gasps> I knew it! Stop faking it, okay? I have feelings too. Not feelings, feelings. Before some of you ask why my chicken is all scruffy and things, it's because he is a rescue, so he's had some behavioral issues that we're working on, right? But you're happy and healthy, right? <laughs> I saw that! Hit and run! I need a lawyer. When I was at Walmart a few weeks ago, I found an Easy Bake Oven. I've never had one before, and nor have I ever tried the food from it, and this seems to be a really new model. So you know what that means? Time for us to test it out. When I was a little grain, I always, always wanted an Easy Bake Oven, but our family just didn't have the funds for a luxury toy like that. And let's admit it, it's a luxury toy. There's, there's no and, ifs, or buts. By the way, for those of you who've had an Easy Bake Oven before, let me know in the comment section below if you've had one, and if it tastes good, if you actually genuinely enjoyed it when you're a little grain. And for those of you who've never had it before, let me know, have you tried it from someone else, or this is going to be your first experience with me. And as you can see on the box, it looks like it's called a Baking Star Edition, which I have no idea why it's called that. If you know, let me know. A lot of the recipes look really tiny. By the way, there's three girls hanging- Why'd you gotta smack me like that? I'm a person. What, what do you, what do you, what do you, you want a pet? You know I'm recording a video, right? What do you, what are you doing? Like, let, let go, let go of my hat! Stop it! You're distracting me! <laughs> Alright, so, you wanna take over the show? It's yours now. Hey, you can't say that on camera. You can't. Okay, get get back there. Get back there. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Everyone loves you already. For those of you who haven't seen his movie, I'll link it in the description box below. He does have a movie, right? Everyone should watch it. <laughs> so there's three girls on the box. You know what that means? Time for imaginary conversations. And I feel like this conversation went down like so. Oh, my parents got me a new Easy Bake Oven. I think I'm gonna cook quite a few things. <laughs> oh, she's not even offering us any of it, is she? Well, are, are these really that tiny? Um, can, can I have a bite? Can I at least sniff it? Oh, these are delicious. Just, just watch me. Watch me eat it and enjoy it. And of course, I'm not just going to test out one food item, but we're going to start off with a snack of pretzels, and then make our way towards something savory, which is a pizza. And last but not least, we're going to have a dessert of red velvet and strawberry cake. Just to be clear, the Easy Bake Oven itself was $56, and each one of these items, yeah, these, these little packets of food, was about $12 each. So of course, the biggest question we have to ask is, is it worth it? Does it make me enjoy cooking? Are the foods edible or are they gross? These are the real questions we must ask in life. What is the taste of Easy Bake Oven? By the way, for those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. If you like it, you're in the right place. <laughs> Dang it. I'm watching you. And while you're there, make sure you click the all notifications on that bell. You see it right there? Make sure you click on that. All right, without further delay, let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. We get the Easy Bake Oven that is pretty much just a plain white with a piece of paper decoration. I don't know why the front part is just plastic with a piece of paper as opposed to an actual design on there. There's the on and off button and then there's this weird timer that says 3.30. I don't know if this is a set time for every single thing that we have to cook, but it does, it is, it is annoying at least for me. The machine itself has two sides, one that is supposed to be for baking and the other side which is supposed
supposed to be for cooling and they're pretty slim which means you can't put your hand in there which comes to our next item a tiny baking sheet which is only supposed to be hand washed so you can only put this in there we also get a spatula which i assume is also long enough so that when it goes after cooking you can push it straight into the cooling area and then pick it up from the cooling area once it's cooled down so it is pretty much the whole length of the machine i have to be honest for 56 dollars i am a little disappointed okay not a little i'm quite disappointed that they couldn't include any kind of measuring spoons that we can find at the dollar store or even a mixing bowl again that is worth a dollar but for companies like that they can manufacture it for so much cheaper and just adding small things like that makes the experience a lot more interesting but no we have to supply all of our own things so the assumption here is that we should have our own stuff which i don't necessarily have everything so all right time to read the instructions and learn how to use this thing. All right, so now that I put the oven away, let us start with a pretzel snack. This package does say for the ages of eight and up. Personally, when I was an eight-year-old grain, I was allowed to use the oven. So I really should be seeing extra perks, or at least the food tastes good, or at least the ease of use, and maybe the fun factor should be much higher. Not just here, but... Here, good enough. I swear, if anything is missing in this box, I'm not gonna be happy. But Jakey, when are you ever happy? Stop it! You're absolutely right. When am I ever happy? What is the meaning of happiness? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> oh, I don't need this. Here's what we get inside. Pretzel mix. Three pretzel mixes. Salt! You grains are in here. Oh, so precious. Egg wash mix, nacho cheese mix, what? So this is really interesting that we're getting nacho cheese dip. I don't know anything about eating pretzels other than the ones I've had in bags. Do they usually come with dips? I don't know. We also get an instructional sheet. All right, so first things first, we need to, we need, we need to preheat the oven. English, talky talky. We need to preheat the oven for about 20 minutes. Now, the instructions are very straightforward and it is pretty easy to understand. However, look at me, people who make Easy Bake Oven. I'm not impressed right now because the person who did this instruction sheet did not proofread. It says, be sure to save half the sauce for your second batch of pizza. Let's zoom in on the word, pizza. We're making pretzels, which means that uh, I don't even know if the instructions are correct at this point because they just copy pasted the cooking time for pizza. Oh, I knew it. I knew the salt would come out, but let's just follow instructions and let's make our pretzels. So I went ahead and oiled our pan and I also preheated the oven. So far it smells like burning plastic and I'm sure there's nothing on the inside. I hope there's nothing on the inside. I guess we'll find out if there's smoke behind me. One of the things that bugs me right away is we get one pack of egg wash, one pack of salt, and one pack of cheesy mix. But we get three packs of the pretzel mixes, which means that anything I use these others for, I have to divide it in three in order to make sure that it lasts longer. Since we can do three of these, they really should be giving us three of everything else, because these are not resealable bags. Look at me, Easy Bake. Come on. If we're making three different portions, we should have three different mixes. Especially since the instructions tell us to use the entire bag of egg wash mix. But I have three batches of pretzels that what if I don't want to do them all today? For shame, you are not thinking about the consumer. For shame. So for the egg wash mix, I'm going to mix the powder with two tablespoons of water. But since I really don't want to use the entire thing immediately, I'm going to use about a third of it. So I'm going to have to try and work around this math. And now for the pretzel dough, we're going to take one pack and mix two teaspoons of water and stir it up. Since I only have a quarter, I'm gonna have to put 16 of these. Once it's all kneaded, we should be able to make the pretzel shapes. All right, I know I'm weird, but this smells like peanut butter. Do not do this at home. I am a professional moron. 
Okay, let's try this. Tastes like nothing. Smells strongly of peanut butter, but it tastes like nothing. You grains can't feel this, but the feel of the dough is very nice. It's not sticky and it just feels very involved. That's, that's the word I'm looking for, which just means that I love cooking. So for me to have something real that I'm cooking with feels nice. that is very specific to this kit is that they want us to use a pastry brush. Again, at $12 for a pack of pretzels, I'm pretty sure they could have added a $1 brush. Again, for companies, it's just a few cents. Because the only one I have is for my barbecue, which is kind of burnt. So I don't think I'm gonna use this one. It does give us the option of using our fingers, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as though I didn't have a brush. I really ruined you, didn't I? we get to spread the salt. There's only one way to do this right, which is this way. And so here are our pretzels. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that this activity was actually really relaxing. Even as an adult who loves cooking, I'm talking about me, I'm an adult. I do enjoy cooking, so this was really easy going. I'm not the best at making pretzels because this is the first time ever, but it felt very stress-free and even stress relieving. Now the question is, let's pop them into the easy, easy bake oven and see what it's like. And so in order to do that, we're going to put our pan through here and then push it with our mechanism, which is this thing over here until the door closes. Oh, is that the other way? Oh, that is the other way. There. And now we wait 12 minutes. A few moments later. All right, you grains can't smell this, but it smells very much so like yeast. So I'm gonna push this on the other side so that it comes into the cooling area. are the pretzels with the cheese dip as you can see it does you saw nothing it does come off pretty easily on the baking sheet it has practically no resistance whatsoever smells very yeasty. And one of the biggest worries I had was pretty much, is it going to be gross? Is it going to look pale? So far, the egg wash does make it look pretty appealing, if I say so myself. I mean, look at these smexy shots. And now for the important part, the taste test. And we're going to try it first without the dip. Oh. So even though it does smell very much so like yeast, it has a very subtle, just bread flavor. I feel like I should have put more salt on this. Is it pleasant? Yeah. Let's try it with the dip that smelled pretty much like mac and cheese. Here it is, and here we go. Yeah. Honestly, for an activity I had very low hope on, the taste is pretty decent. The dip is mac and cheese dip. Well, it's just mac and cheese powder. And both of them together, would I eat this when I want a snack? Yeah, I totally would. So as a recipe and as an activity, I would probably rate this as a 7.8. That's pretty high for me. After having our snack, now it's time for pizza. I have high hopes on this one because the snack one is pretty decent. Let's see what we get inside. Oh yeah, I didn't need this. Here's what we get inside. Pizza dough mix twice. So essentially we can make two pizzas. Egg wash. So we get another egg wash. I guess it's to make sure that things are not gross and pale in color, just kind of gives it color. Marinara mix. So this is our tomato sauce. And garlic herb cheese. That's weird. I guess it's kind of like a powdered cheese that we're going to activate with water. 
I don't know. And similarly, we also get our instructional booklet. All right, so let's go ahead and make our pizza. The first thing we're going to make is our tomato sauce. And as always, I'm going to be halving these because I don't want to make both packs of pizza. Wait, what is this blue thing? Oh, that is weird. What is this blue thing? It's a lot of food color in it. So here's our tomato sauce. Just to be clear, I'm going to be comparing the flavor of these pizzas to the Japanese candy kit that actually had savory pizza. It wasn't that great, but it wasn't that terrible either, and it only cost $3, so... I'm comparing this, well, this whole thing cost me over $100, so this pizza is technically like $100 worth of pizza. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm really curious to try the pizza, the pizza sauce on its own, and... <coughs> Interesting. It tastes pretty much like tomato sauce in a jar. Not bad. For the cheese, we're also putting half of that, so we're mixing it all with water. So far, everything is only with water. And then the egg wash, exactly the same thing. So it really, I probably should have kept the previous one, but I threw it out, so I'm just gonna have to make a new batch. Time to try out the garlicky, cheesy cheese. Yeah. It just tastes like Alfredo sauce. So it's this creamy garlic, but when it comes to it being cheese, no, it's not bad though, but it's not cheese. And then when it comes to the pizza dough part, it's pretty much the same thing as when we made the pretzels. So we're making one dough, dividing it into six. Yeah, this is, this is my movement here for division. And then we turn them into little pancakes and then we put the toppings right on top. Except for when it comes to the cheese, they do recommend that we put it in a Ziploc bag and then kind of pipe it right on top. So let's give that a try. Let me get a string of color right there. Do you guys see that? So other than the colorant, the, the rest of it seems okay. So let's take our piping bag Alfredo. I'm not, it's not, it's not really cheese. It's like a, like a bechamel sauce. I guess it could be creamy, not cheesy. And we're supposed to just kind of squeeze some stripes right on top. How do you stop it? Maybe a fork? I'm going to guess that it's supposed to be like that because their instructions really don't show any pictures. So I'm kind of just going in like that. Seems right, and I'm gonna guess it's gonna melt, I say, skeptically with the high pitch voice. The piping idea is pretty good because at least you have control on putting kind of like mozzarella balls and hoping that they melt, so let's do the rest. So here are our pizzas. Now we're going to shove it into the Easy Bake Oven for 12 minutes. So it's pretty similar to the pretzels. And remember, these be tiny. Kind of sad that the tomato sauce is brown instead of red. Oh no. Oh boy, they did not prepare me for that. See you in 12 minutes. A few moments later. <coughs> yeah, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being a drama salt. I'm just letting you grains know that it doesn't smell very pleasant in here. It has this mixture of this chemically garlicky, flowery, alfredo-y. It, it just doesn't smell very nice. And let's admit, they also do look pretty disgusting. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it, it just doesn't smell good. So let's, let's, let's try this. Bottoms up. Uh. <coughs> uh, uh. Oh wait. Hmm. This pizza is putting me through a range of emotions right now because the first bite, all it really tastes like is creamy garlic bread, not quite pizza. And then with the mixture of that tomato sauce, which is kind of gross, makes it so that it's not that delicious. And then afterwards you get that garlicky taste again. You're like, okay, that's, that's pretty okay. But I have to say, if you're not into any kind of extra garlicky flavors, this is not for you. Compared to the pretzels, which were quite enjoyable, I would rate this probably a 4 on 10. The activity itself was fun. Flavor? Bleh. We've had our snack, we've had our pizza, and now the most important part of every meal is not true. Make sure you have a balanced diet.
Dessert. I am particularly interested in dessert because that's pretty much how I remember Easy Bake Ovens were advertised. And even though I am a really good cook, I'm not tooting my own horn, but I kind of am. When it comes to baking and making sweet things, I am the worst. I don't know why, but for some reason when it comes to sweets, don't let me make it. Just don't. I can't, I can't, I even ruin the, the cookie doughs that are already made. So, just say. So let's see how dummy proof these cakes are going to be. For that, let's see what we get inside. I keep forgetting I don't need this. Jackie, please work on your brain. <laughs> That's three for three! <gasps> Why? Here's what we get inside. Red velvet and strawberry cake mix, vanilla frosting mix, pink frosting, and red heart confetti. And to be honest, I was really curious how they were going to get these different layers, as you can see on the box, because they seem thick enough. And according to the instructions, we are actually going to be baking each layer separately. And so what we're going to do is make our red velvet cake by putting in four teaspoons of water, putting it into the little pan, and then baking it for 16 minutes. Yes, you heard, 16 whole minutes. Just letting you grains know that it does smell like chocolate milk. And definitely don't do what I do, but hey, they're probably expecting this anyways. <coughs> Tastes like cake batter, which is yummy. And remember, this is oiled. Eventually. Once it's out, we're going to take it, put it aside, and do the exact same thing with the strawberry cake batter. Look at me right now. This smells like strawberry milkshake. Oh my god, it smells so good. Let's, let's test it out. <coughs> yeah, tastes like strawberry milkshake. Or like a melted strawberry ice cream. That's pretty precise. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now that the cake is dr not drying, um, heat leaving, cooling. That's the word I was looking for. Wow. <laughs> so while our cake is cooling, why can't I remember cooling? So while our cake is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and mix the frosting. We have our vanilla and then we have the pink one, which I'm guessing has no flavor, but we're gonna taste it anyways. And pretty much all we have to do after that is ice the cake. That's what it's called? Put icing on the cake? We're not icing the cake. We're icing the cake. Not ice the cake. Even though they say to put the second icing on top after we slice the cake, uh, I'm just going to be a rebel and ice the cake on top first and then slice it. Because nobody tells me what to do. Not the instructions, not my parents. <laughs> listen to your parents. If you're, if you're young, listen to your parents. Unless you have salt, then still listen. I'm not taking any responsibility for anyone. <laughs> this one here does smell like vanilla and it tastes like... <coughs> hmm. It does have this hint of fake vanilla, but it is pretty good. Kind of like a Starbucks vanilla frappuccino. <laughs> it's pretty good. And this one here doesn't really smell like anything that I would expect pink to smell like. Let's taste it. It's pretty much just pink icing sugar. Here is the cake. Yes, it looks really scrumptious when it's cut down. And I cut myself a small piece. It smells really good of strawberry and chocolate and vanilla. So I'm really hoping this tastes as good as it smells. I'm usually not a fan of confetti or sprinkles. I don't like, I don't like crunchy texture in my cake. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that is good. A lot less sweet than I thought it would be, which is great. But this is pretty much what I would expect from Easy Bake Oven. So compared to the savory parts, this cake, and just so you see, the amount we're getting is definitely good for a few people. I'd probably rate this activity an 8.5. So what is my verdict on Easy Bake Oven? Is it a luxury toy? Yes. 
Is the activity fun and relaxing? Yeah. Is it easy enough for someone who's young or a beginner or someone who just wants to do a cooking activity without the commitment of going all the way to the oven? It, 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 what I'm saying is... Yes. So if you're someone who likes to cook without really cooking, see where I'm going here? I could recommend this. And maybe even though it says eight and up, this is probably good for six years old. The instructions are really easy to follow. And of course, for adult grains, again, if you want to cook without cooking. Avoid the pizza was gross. I would not eat it again. Just trust me on that one. So the question is, is the Easy Bake Oven worth your cash or does it go in the trash? The answer is, it depends on the recipe. The cake, catch. Pretzels, catch. Pizza, trash. This week's shoutouts go to Sweet Ketcha, Skylar & Co, Blaze Snare, who drew my burp, Stevens NRS, Hilda the Master, and to all you amazing grains who turned my doll into a drawing. I absolutely loved seeing all the different drawings of bringing her to life, so thank you so much for doing that. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, Make sure you check over here. And if you want to watch a video that YouTube thinks is just right for you, check it out down here. And if you want me to test out more recipes on the Easy Bake Oven that are not from the little packets, let me know. I'm willing to test them out and try them. I said test so many times. I'll see you guys in the next video.